Tagging is a great way to allow your images to be filtered in the gallery element. Let's have a look at what that is and how you apply it. By default, when you bring in images into the gallery element, the tags are already enabled. You will see that as you brought in the images and you drop them here, there is enable tags and the switcher is set to on. If you don't need it, you can switch it off, but it's not going to hurt anything. So what does it mean when it is switched on? Let's select the first image, go to the image setting, and then next to image, you will see that we have the option for tags. Basically, you categorize your images here, and then people can select those categories, and then they can edit them. In this example, I'm just going to call this furniture. Once I've done that, you will see at the top, we have these boxes that appear, and this is going to be our filter section. Let's do this for this image as well. I'll just call this something like fashion. For the next image, the same. And I'll go ahead and do this for all the images and do a jump cut. I've done, I've created three kinds of tags, furniture, fashion, and outdoor. Select furniture and you will see all those images that I've tagged as furniture will display. Fashion, these two, and then outdoor, only this one image. Then we also have the all that we can do. Now, this is what tags is all about. And you may not like the way it is set up here. And that's why you've got all the styling options here. For the all, you can select it and type something in there that is more suitable. I will say categories or something applicable to what you are filtering. If you click on the tag, you will see you can sort it alphabetically. So fashion, furniture, outdoor. You have the style you can choose from. I like this one box. And then you have the spacing, which is the distance between those tags. And then the content gap, which is this indent between the top bar and the content you are filtering. And that's how you work with tags. This is really great if you have a big portfolio and you want to give people that ability to sort through it. For more updates like this, tips and tricks, and the general know-how of Brizzy for WordPress and Cloud, free and pro, remember to subscribe, visit us at brizzy.io, and I'll see you in the next video.